So, just did my, um, I don't know what I'm going to title that as. Get ready with me natural eye look, maybe? Something like that. Um, and I didn't show in that video, but I did fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Because I have, like, no eyebrows. They're, like, super light, which is weird because I have the darkest hair. I mean, my hair is, like, insanely dark. It's not black, but it's, like, the darkest brown you can ever get. Um, so, yeah, this video is going to be about a review, going to be a review on two products that I just got the other day at Target. Um, I have the hardest time trying to find a mascara that I love and that works well with me and actually does what it says it's going to do. Um, I mean, I have I have decent eyelashes, I'd say. I don't have, you know, super long, luscious eyelashes, but, I mean, they're not, they're not short. Um, they're a good length, and then, you know, they're mm, somewhat full. My husband has the best eyelashes. I wish I could have his eyelashes. I really want to put mascara on him one day, but he won't let me. <laughs> um, so, anywho, I go back and forth with different brands of mascara trying to find one that's going to work and another girl that I watch on YouTube um, makeup by Tiffany D I follow her on Instagram also and she posted a, po a picture of her naked eye and then the eye with this mascara that I had just bought and it was amazing how much volume not, not really even volume well yeah it had some of volume how much length it gave her. I mean, it seriously looked like she had fake eyelashes on. Um, so, I had a coupon actually, and I was, you know, it was for two dollars off. I actually got two of them. When you go to Target, you know how it prints off coupons and whatnot. Well, I got two. So, it was uh, four ninety nine at Target was the regular price, and with two dollars off, it was two ninety nine. So I got the um, the Revlon Lash Potion by Grow Luscious volume and length mascara and I got it in 001 blackest black the package is hard to see um, cause it's got the shiny um, uh, covering on it but um let me tell you this stuff is oh my goodness I don't even have enough you know anything I don't even know what I'm saying I love this mascara I just used it in the, um, the tutorial I just did, and this is two coats, um, and I think it's I think it's amazing. And don't mind my I always get it right there on my eyelid, and I do not know how not to. Um, but this stuff is amazing. It gives you you know, good, long-looking eyelashes, and they it's not clumpy, because I just bought a, um, but anywho, sorry, I'll finish talking in just one second. This is the brush. It's a, um, it's a very wet-looking formula, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it never dries. You know what I'm talking about with some mascaras, when you put them on, they still feel, um, wet and kind of sticky and tacky. Um, this one looks very wet, but my eyelashes are dry and they feel dry. Um, yeah, so I had bought, oh goodness, what was it? I just returned it. Because it gave me the clumpiest, oh, Maybelline the Rocket. I had bought that because I kept hearing good things about that one. Sorry, I dropped my mascara. Um, I kept hearing good things about that one, how amazing it was and everything like that. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try that. Because I do like my, uh, Maybelline mascaras because I have the Colossal Eyes. And this one, oh my god. I don't know if it was just me, but it, it was so clumpy. It looked like I had, you know, spider legs on my eyelashes. Oh, I, I did not like it. And I had only put two coats, like I put this, I put two coats of this on. Um... And you know, it could be the brush. Those plastic brushes, I'm not a big fan of those plastic brushes. You know, you guys know which ones I'm talking about, right? Uh, it was the prettiest brush, though. It had, like, a hot pink um, center on the wand, and it was clear. It was pretty. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't think I like the plastic wands. This does not have a plastic wand. Um, 
Yeah, so I returned that one and I got this one. And I am in love with this. And I, I love the packaging of it. It's so pretty. Good job, Revlon. Yeah, I never ever really buy Revlon products, but that is amazing. Um, and then my second makeup. Well, I wasn't even going to buy this. But I was walking through after getting the mascara and I saw this and it was on clearance. And they're usually $13.70. Eight, I think, or 13 something. I don't know what it said. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. Uh, and I saw the clearance sticker and it had like three on there, so I guess it wasn't selling. And it was only six dollars and 78 cents. And another girl that I watch, um, Candy Johnson, she always uses this stuff. And you know, I was thinking, eh, cheap little brush like that, it probably doesn't do anything. And when I watch her and she puts it on, her face is flawless. Right after she puts this on, not even, at, you know, not even after concealer or before concealer, whatever. This stuff is amazing. This is one coat, one application of the L'Oreal Visible Lift Smooth Absolute Instant Age Reversing Foundation with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF of 17 Hydro Collagen Complex in 166 Natural Buff. Um, and it comes with this cool little brush. Um, the only thing that irritates me about this stuff, and I have the, um, the Maybelline concealer, the Aya one, um, with the twisty bottom where it pushes I'm throwing stuff I can't stop like dropping everything I have complete butterfingers going on um but anywho this irritates me because I'll be twisting it and I'm like good god nothing is coming out and then all of a sudden it's coming out like crazy and like I said in my last video I had some I had way too much last yesterday and um I had to put it on the cap but um yes this stuff is amazing. Like I said, no concealer on, just this foundation. I don't know. I don't know which lighting is better. This is natural light. This is with the light. Um, amazing. I can't even say anything else, but amazing. So both these products are the best things I've ever used. Um, the coloring is good. You know, it's weird is when I, because I have the L'Oreal um, True Match Lumi, and it's in the same exact color. It says natural buff, but it's a different number. So I'm guessing it's the same color. They both work. But this one, I don't have to use concealer. So I really like that. Where the Lumi, I have to use concealer. Um, so if you guys have not tried this, pick it up, please, because it's amazing. Um, I gotta get the phone, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!